the, the Global Energy Show in Calgary uh, this week. I know you gave a keynote there. You participated in several roundtables. Boy, there was optimism there, wasn't there? And uh, certainly coming from you, uh, when you talk to stakeholders and those visiting nationally, internationally, about the importance of the work we're doing here in Alberta. Well, you know, you say it once, you can say it a hundred times. We are not transitioning away from oil and gas production. We're transitioning away from emissions production. They're two different things. And we've already had great success in reducing methane emissions, in reducing the energy intensity of a barrel of production for our bitumen. Um, and we're going to continue to with things like the Pathways Project for Oil Sense and the carbon capture utilization and storage pipeline and hub that they're creating along with all of the other hubs and, and carbon capture facilities that are that are taking place. We've already got a number of net zero projects that are underway, Dow Chemicals, uh, net zero petrochemical plant to decarbonize plastics. We've got uh, air products with their de their net zero hydrogen, which will help us build out a brand new economy uh, for heating, for electricity, as well as for transportation. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we're hoping to see a final investment decision from Heidelberg which will decarbonize 50% of all the cement that is used in Western Canada uh, with their net zero facility. And, and so why wouldn't we be optimistic? Uh, I mean, what we've seen is finally, uh, I think, a breakthrough on the technology, proving out carbon capture at scale, but also finding new innovative ways to be able to reduce emissions. And I, I think that we can be a world leader, not only in providing the fuels and the building materials in a decarbonized way that the world needs, but also in exporting this technology so they can do the same.